Hi everyone. A couple of weeks ago I had an idea that I would like to have a hobby of making YouTube videos. So I did a whole stack of research and this video is my journey of all the kit that I bought and the process of assembling it all and how it has an impact on the video along the way. So you'll get to see all the transitions as I add each piece of equipment. And this is the final product which for my first video I'm really happy with. At the moment I'm recording on my iPhone 6, um, the lighting's really bad, it's not that great, but I'm going to transition you through all the different things that I've bought to see how we can improve the shot. So first of all, um, I bought a 750D um, EOS digital SLR camera, also called the Canon Rebel 6Ti in some countries. Um, it seemed to be that YouTubers love the Rebel camera, so and it works really well. You can get higher grades of camera if you're into all that stuff, um, but it's great for photography, but if you just want to do YouTube, the 750D will be fine. There is also a 760D, apparently, that's been released, um, but it was really hard to track down in the UK, so 750D it is. So now I'm going to start uh, doing my video recording with the 750D, and you can see what that's like. So. I've now uh, switched over to the Canon 750D uh, DSLR camera. As you can see, like already the improvement in um, what you're seeing is much better than my iPhone 6 for video recording. It doesn't come with an SD card, so I did buy a couple of SD cards. They cost about £8.50 on um, Amazon. Uh, I'm using here the Micro SD HC UHS I card. You want something that's speedy, I mean this looks good on the reviews. There's a variety of these, just choose one that looks like it's good, has good reviews. And something that's suitable for video recording in particular. The battery that goes with the 750D is the LPE17. Don't know if you can see that clearly or not. Um, this was actually surprisingly hard to track down. Amazon had run out. Uh, I got it from Wex Photography online in the UK. So if you're here, it costs about 40 pounds. They're not cheap, um, but well worth it because it's not going to slow you down in production if you can change over to a spare battery. So I am gonna whack this on the charge now to make sure that I can uh, keep up with my filming. When I was doing my research for the Canon 750D for making YouTube videos, I kept seeing comments from people that the sound quality in the camera was not that fantastic. So in order to do YouTube videos with this, you would need to buy a microphone. So I did a little bit of research on Amazon and it seemed that something that was sort of relatively affordable and would do the job was the Rode video mic. So here is the mic. Uh, it's got I don't know if you can see this, but this is going to go in the top of the camera and then this plugs into the mic port. So I'm going to attach this now and um, see how this goes. You might notice that the sound quality of the video has not yet improved and that's because I forgot one very, very important thing. You will require a 9 volt battery. I've just whipped down to the corner store. Thankfully it was open on Christmas Day and um, have got myself a Duracell 9 volt battery so I'm gonna put that in now hopefully we'll start hearing some improved sound quality wish me luck already that's my husband sneezing we're now filming with the Rode video mic and as you can hear the sound is a bit better um, there is also going to be some hiss with this from the reviews that I've read because this mic isn't as good as the video mic pro um, but the video mic pro costs 160 pounds as opposed to this one which cost me about 70 pounds um, and so I am going to fix the video recording at this point now and you should hear that I have edited out the hiss um, using the iMovie software. You might notice that I've also moved location as the day drags on it was getting quite dark where I was sitting so I've moved into a different location and I am um, a bit better lit here. I've also started using the camera with a tripod. Um, this tripod is just an Amazon Basics tripod, literally cost me 20 pounds, it's fantastic. Before I was shooting, sitting on top of a stack of books, I can tell you right now that using the tripod is just so much easier and for 20 pounds it's not a particularly big investment and well worth it. The 
EOS 750D by Canon comes with, well the one I bought came with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. When I was doing my research I came across a channel called My Life as Eva. Eva recommended that you might as well skimp more on the camera and spend more on the lens which got me thinking that maybe getting a lens um, that's a bit higher spec than what the camera comes with might be useful. I upgraded on the advice of Eva to the Sigma 30mm 1.4 art. I also watched a review on Christopher Frost Photography. Um, he does a beautiful review of this particular lens if you want to see more. I'm now shooting with the 30mm Sigma lens. Hopefully you can see some improvement in the footage, otherwise I've wasted all my money. From the reviews that I saw, I should look quite crisp and sharp in the image, but everything behind me should look slightly blurred, which gives a really nice image. I also watched a review from Jennifer Nguyen on YouTube, and she talks about how important lighting is, and she suggested getting a ring light. I'm going to show you the ring light that I bought. It's by Niwa. It comes in this gigantic carrier bag, so I'm just going to get this out now. Oops. There's an option to have a 14 inch diameter ring or an 18 inch diameter ring and I chose the 18 inch. It's pretty big. I think it was about 70 pounds on Amazon and also I bought a stand as well. It's the cam link it's the cam link stand. So um, I think this was about £15. I wasn't going to be able to do much with the ring light without a stand, so I'm going to assemble this now and turn it on, and then you can see the difference between this footage and with the ring light on. I'm now being lit by the ring light. Hopefully I'm a bit better illuminated, and this will allow me to shoot even if there's no sunlight, which is what happened to me today. Um, this is great for if you're just going to be sitting talking. It is quite bright and I did order a diffuser but unfortunately the um, diffuser order was cancelled um, and I also ordered a hot shoe um, connector which would have allowed me to sit my camera kind of on top in the middle of the ring um, but unfortunately that got cancelled as well so I'm going to have to search for those elsewhere. In the meantime I just have to put up with an incredibly bright light in my face um, but I hope you can see the difference between this and what it was like when we weren't using the ring, just so you can remember. I'm going to turn the ring off now. So this is what it's like without the ring. And now I'm going to put the ring back on. And this is what it's like with the ring. So it's quite bright. Now that you've got all your video equipment set up, you're going to need something in order to do your video editing. Um, I was lucky enough that my husband, very, very generously for Christmas, bought me a 15 inch MacBook Pro. There are a number of Apple laptops that you can buy if you want an Apple. I chose the MacBook Pro because it was known to be the best for video editing and working with graphics. There is a 13 inch screen option. Um, but as I'm getting a bit older and my eyesight is not what it used to be, I went with a 15 inch. Also, I'm just going to be working on it from home. I'm not planning on carting it around with me, so I didn't mind having a slightly heavier laptop. Once you've got your laptop set up, you can use the cable that comes with the camera and you can plug it in to the laptop. And then you should be able to start seeing whatever you're recording on your camera on the laptop. If you're not using a new Apple laptop, you can probably just use the disc that comes with the camera. It's called the EOS Solution Disc. This one is version 30.1 at the moment. Unfortunately, if you are using a new Apple laptop, you probably won't have a CD drive in it, so you're gonna have to go to the Canon website and download the software from there. It's quite a big file, it's 148 meg, so um, it might take a little time to download. A word of warning, I accidentally downloaded the wrong software for a different camera when I was on the website and I was absolutely tearing my hair out trying to get this to work because I had downloaded software for a camera that could connect with a laptop through Wi-Fi. It's a bit higher spec than this camera. Now this camera cannot connect through Wi-Fi so in order to be able to make this work um, you need to make sure you download the right software that's not asking you for a Wi-Fi connection. If it is, you've downloaded the wrong software, go back, try again. 
Once you've got the software downloaded, open the EOS utility software. Make sure your camera's turned on and connected. Once it's turned on, it should offer you an option to do a remote session. Select that option, then select Live View Shoot. And then you should be able to start seeing whatever you're recording on your camera on the laptop. I was planning on taking you through how I've edited this video, but it's probably already quite long. So I'm not going to show you in this particular video. I might do a separate video on how I did the video editing, but I'm sure there are a million and one iMovie tutorials on the net that you can watch. They'll probably give you much better tips than I'm going to be able to offer because I am a pure beginner at this. And the last thing that you're going to need to put together your YouTube video is, if you're a woman at least, maybe not if you're a man, although I shouldn't discriminate, maybe you want to do this too, you can watch yourself a whole load of makeup videos and give yourself a bit of a makeover. I'm by no means as experienced as lots of the people I've seen doing makeup tutorials on YouTube, but I'm going to go and use the hints and tips that I've learned and go and give myself a bit of a makeover. Voila, what do you think? Hopefully all the makeup tutorials I've watched have made a little bit of a difference, although I do actually quite like how I look without all the makeup, to be honest. The few things that I found challenging about trying to set all this up, there are only a couple of things. Um, trying to get the microphone to work was a bit of a challenge, and I'll do a separate video to show how to set up the video mic with the Canon 750D. The other thing I found slightly challenging was hooking up the camera to the laptop so that I could see the video footage in the laptop as I was recording. I'll also do a video of this once I figure out how to take videos of my laptop screen. So I've got a little bit of research to do and probably some software to get in order to do that. So that'll be my follow-up videos. Thanks for joining me for my first YouTube video. I hope you found it useful and gave you some ideas for the type of equipment you might like to use when filming YouTube videos. I do apologise for the editing. I know it's a bit choppy, but hopefully with a bit of practice that should improve. So thanks for joining me and see you soon. Bye.